Hey YouTube, it's your boy Wizzy here, coming up with some more strategy games with Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. And today I sort of want to showcase my first ever opening build order for the new civilizations. And this one is going to be Italy. It is going to be a sort of H2 food boom. Where we're going to be using so much food to invest into our Lombards, give us some good wood and gold trickle. And it's going to be a slow burner, but it's going to get kind of crazy. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. Of course, after the video, let me know down in the comments below what you think, what kind of build orders you've been coming up with. It'll be great to see. And of course, this is going to be released on the 26th of May. So not too long to go. Without further ado, let's get into this. Right, ladies and gents, welcome to the battlefield. Here we go with this sort of food eco opening for Italy. So first thing you're going to want to do with your architect, you are going to want to start building a market immediately and then queue up a house. So if you don't know what the architect is, he basically builds buildings for free, but they take considerably longer, obviously, than you would be if you were using wood. However, throughout the construction, you can invest some wood to get the construction uh, or get the building up really quickly and it does build pretty darn quickly which is nice now you start off with four villagers as the italians and you're going to want to be collecting your crates as usual you are going to get a huge injection of food and the minute you do you want to make sure that you've got a bunch of fills queued up in your tc like i do right here and then you want to be using the um, remaining vills that you have to collect your crates. And then you kind of want to macro with two vills on food, two on wood. And that is because you're going to want to use some of the wood that you're chopping here to help you get this market. So you can see here at the moment, I'm just building it normally. And I will be investing some wood very shortly. You're going to be seeing it. I'm going to be investing some wood shortly to get the rest of the market. There it is, that noise. Boom. You can see immediately the construction time has changed. And... The way that I macro it here is I want to be getting my hunting dogs as soon as possible. Now, hunting dogs cost you 50 wood and 50 gold. So what I want to make sure is that with my villagers, I want to make sure that I'm chopping a little bit of extra wood so I can help build the market and also just chop a little bit more so you can also help get your house up quicker as well because you don't want to be pop capped. And this is a thing with Italy. I don't want to go on about it too much. It is kind of a difficult sieve to understand because you've got to try and plan if you're going to need that extra bit of, of wood to get your building built faster with your architect. So there's a lot to think about. Basically, this is the opening that you're probably going to be seeing a majority of Italian players doing. And I've seen some people go with a house first and, and then the market. But we're going market first and we are queuing up these upgrades. So you want to queue it up. Hunting dogs first. Great coat. And then the blunderbuss. And then the final one will be the, I think it's called the gang saw, which is 100 food as well. So a lot of food upgrades here. And we're going to be okay because we've got a lot of bills queued up. We start with a lot of food, which is nice, which basically means we're going to be using some of that to get us the upgrades. And of course, every upgrade you get, you get a villager. That's so crucial with the Italians. So always remember that. Every kind of upgrade that you get, you get a villager. So always remember that. So the great coat is now coming out. We're going to be getting the blunderbuss and the gang saw. And pretty much, guys, after this point, everything is on for villager production and food gathering. Now, you can see here that I just quickly, there's a quick transaction there. I picked up 40 wood on a treasure and I used some of that to quickly finish off building the house. OK, and then once you've built the house, the next thing, you, you, the next thing sorry, you're going to want to do is build another house and then go for the basilica. OK, that's the thing you want to do. Now, the basilica, you can see this huge area that this building has and that gives you the improved construction speed, which is crucial if you're playing as Italy, of course, with the architect, you want to make sure that you build your buildings as quickly as possible and you want to build this as soon as possible to get that benefit. And the Basilica can also garrison, uh, not garrison, it can also be used to drop off um, home city shipments, whether that's eco or military. And it gives you two free upgrades, absolutely free, that will give you two villagers. This building is essentially a building that will give you two villagers. It will give you an increase in construction speed for your architect. And it's a big building of 5,000 HP, so you can use that defensively if you want to. So there's many, many things, and there's other upgrades within this building as well. A really, really nice building, and you can use it to obviously ship Papal allies, which are very, very strong military units. But we're not going to go into that too much on this opening. So you can see here that I am just getting the villagers here. Ideally, you want to be on 14 vills, and you can see that I am on 14. But I'm going to just be able to train an extra 15th villager, and that's because of some of the treasures that I got. But ideally, I think you want to be on 14 vills. And you want to be aging up around this sort of time now. So I am a little bit late. I am doing this. I've done this a couple of times. I'm not the best. 
with getting my openings crisp. But I hope that you understand what I'm kind of doing. So let's pause here because we're getting into the next stage. And the next card is going to be the Medici card, which gives you one Lombard and it gives you two Settlers. Now, the Lombard is uh, another unique building to the Italians where you can invest any of your resources and it will basically convert it into the opposing two resources or two other types of resources that you have at a slower rate. It will convert it for you. So basically what that means is we are going to be investing food pretty much nonstop into the Lombards. That's going to be giving us a nice trickle of wood and gold. And the reason that we're doing that is because we are playing a nice food eco opening here. We've already gone for the Furrier card and we're going to be going for the Spice Trade as the second card straight off the bat. And that is going to overall give us a 30. Wait, that's 15%. Hang on, 15%. Yes, a 35% increase in gathering hunted animals. So this is what this build is centered around. It's centered around your food, using that to invest in the Lombards and essentially having a great trickle of wood and gold. And we can see here in transition, what I want you guys to be doing is getting your placer mines and your steel traps when, there we go, there it is, because you do get access to these upgrades. So make sure that you get the placer mines and the steel traps in transition. You can see here the macro can be a little bit tricky. And once you've done that, once you've got those two, what you want to do is you want to be macroing a little bit of wood and gold to help you boost your basilica. Now, the basilica here, it costs 200 wood and 100 gold. So what we want to do is continue chopping a bit of wood and gold after we've got our two upgrades here so that we can help out our architect and we can boost the building of this because this is such a crucial building and I really like the idea of this. It has, as I say, it's got two free upgrades in it that will give you two extra villages. So really, really crucial. Another villa popping out because of that upgrade and then we've got steel traps on the way as well. And I just think both Italians and the Maltese are really good age two sieves. They both focus around eco. Yeah, I, I, I just love the style of the two sieves, but I do prefer Italians at the moment. And this is kind of an opening that I've seen. I have played against a few people. I've studied a few people's sort of building uh, openings and stuff like that. I've tweaked them a little bit and this is what I'm showing you guys. So I hope you do enjoy it. And we are going to be getting into the next stage. Here we go. And we've got the Lombard wagon here coming out and more villagers coming in. And our first card is going to be the Spice Trade card. So you can see here, there it is coming in Spice Trade. The Basilica is nearly done because I helped improve it with the Vils. And now once you've done that, Pretty much, guys, you want to be nearly moving all your vills over to food because you're going to be wanting to invest 300 food into this Lombard as soon as possible. And you can see now my architect is finished with the Basilica. He's now working on a house and he's going to be getting the barracks straight after it. Now, obviously, we are I am not playing against a real opponent here. We are just in five minutes here. I might suggest going for the barracks first before you build your second house. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the best way around that is to do it. It depends on how much pressure you think you're going to get. This kind of opening is a slow burner. So it slowly builds up. It's it's a boom, essentially. So it, it's got to take a little bit of time to get going. But once it gets going and you start getting your Lombards out and you start investing that food and getting that wood and gold trickle, it starts to get a little bit out of hand and it can get a little crazy trying to spend all your resources. Trust me, we'll see that as we go on here. I am only going to be showing you like the first sort of 10 minutes of this opening because a lot of things can change. And I hope you guys can sort of just give this a go and maybe tweak it yourself. And everybody's still learning this sieve. So as you can see here, majority of yours are going over to wood, uh, so to food. Sorry, I do have a little bit of a, of a situation with herding. So herding is so, so crucial. So make sure that you, you know where your herds are. I haven't had a great management there of my herds. But you can see here that we do have the barracks underway. And that trickle is coming in. Can you see it coming in? The one Lombard here is giving us one coin and one wood at the moment. You can see how it's working away there. And now our next card is going to be the Monte di Piazza, which gives you another Lombard wagon, and it puts 700 coin into the Lombards as well, which will give you both food and wood over time. So we're mainly investing food, but this one will give us some food and wood as well. So once this comes in, it might be a good idea to maybe move some of your vills over to wood perhaps, just to help with the wood side of things. And you can see here, once again, maybe a little bit of tweaking here, could have had a couple of vills on wood to maybe help this barracks get up a little quicker because we are now coming into six minutes 30. We still don't have a barracks up. So something to note there. 
maybe have a few vills on wood so we can just hurry along this barracks. That's probably something that could be adjusted in this opening. We do now see the Lombard wagon coming out. There it goes. And now we're going to see, there it is. We've got the coin and the food in. And we can see there's a lot going into wood now to a second. We can see that it's it's sort of shared. So it's, it's converting it. It should be converting it, yeah, at a quicker rate, at favorable rates. Yeah, trains, mercenaries, outlaws. That's what it should do. The more Lombards you have. Anyway, we've got the uh, the barracks is now built and we're going to be training musketeers. That's going to be our first type of unit we're going to be training. You can see here that my architect is building um, a house here just to keep up with the population. And I'm using that wood again to boost the house every now and then if I need to. You can see now, look at this trickle coming in. Look at this wood trickle. I'm not doing anything now. These Lombards are supporting it. It's absolutely awesome. And look how much food I'm rolling on. I need to be investing this food, uh, like depositing this food, or maybe I need to be adjusting my macro slightly to help with maybe some extra wood. I should really be getting another barracks down. I, I'm not really doing that. I've just got the one here. So once again, something else to note, maybe get a second barracks to help with the, the demand here or the supply of food and gold. Next car coming in is going to be the 700 wood. And you can see now I am getting the second barracks. I've decided to get that down because of the amount of food I've got coming in. It's insane. Look at it. It's absolutely crazy. Once again, you could do some sort of FF here potentially. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best way to go. We are just looking at some age two play here. We've got 700 wood coming in. And we've got, I have now put a couple of hills over to wood just to help out. And we are going to uh, be boosting that production of the barracks here. And now I decided to get a stable. So I've gone double racks and then I'm opening up with a stables now as well. And you can see here when this wood comes in, we've got the 700 wood. It has arrived. What you can do is start to train some pavisias. So you can start to sort of mix up your composition if you want. You don't have to go pure musk. You can go for some pavisias and that's exactly what I'm going for. So maybe try and spend some of that wood for that. And also obviously just make sure that you're spending the wood on the houses, which I'm doing here with my architects. Never have your architect idle, just have him building something, you know, that's always best. And now I'm getting him to build the stables and we are moving out now. Also remember, you can also use some of these native TPs if you like to get some strange units out. It's like the war elephants here, for example. Um, you can use your explorer as well in transition to build one of the native TPs or a TP for you. But we are looking obviously at sort of like a no TP opening here. But there's many, many options. This is just one type of variation. And you can see here now that I've got my uh, my Pavizias now rolling out. We've got another batch of musks. We've got double musk production on the way. We've got hussars on the way now as well. And you can see now the demand of the resources is happening. You know, we are using it. All of that coin is going to be emptied. There it goes. And now we just have the food coming in at one coin a second and one wood a second. And now we can see I'm just pushing the base. I've got my hussars. And then the next card is when you have this many resources, you're going to have quite a good balance of income. So it's always good to use one of your um, infantry cards. And this one I'm using is the Broken Lance Company. I think this is one of the strongest ones at the moment. You get two PayPal Lancers and you get two Stradiots. Very, very powerful cav. And normally your opponent will try and counter your musketeers if you're going primarily musketeer. So opening with this, with these four heavy cav units will really deal damage to any skirms that he is getting. So we are going to be taking that TP down. We've got a great bunch of units here. And there it is. TP is down. And I'm moving my vills over. We're on 30 vills at the moment. One thing I did forget with this uh, recording is I forgot to get my two free villagers from the Basilica. Uh, so always remember that. Get your two upgrades from the Basilica. And you can see my architect, he's just building houses. He's just building houses. That's all he's doing. Um, and the Basilica is providing extra construction speed because it's in that zone. And the Broken Lance Company is going to be coming out. There it is. Look at these. 750 HP, 30 range resist, and basically just destroys all infantry. And this, these guys have 56 HP as well. 56 damage, sorry, just straight across the board. 30% range resist and nearly 600 HP. I, I mean, I think this is going to be changed. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, moving in, we're just going to be clearing up the veils. And that is pretty much it, guys, in a nutshell. That is, that is eco sort of opening. No TP eco opening using both of the food upgrades, the furrier and the spice trade and i'm sure a lot of you probably thinking there's other variations widgy why don't you why don't you start off with furrier and then go into merchant republics and then maybe you can get the tp line and you can get spice trade a little bit later on and then you've got both the tp line secured you've got eco yes there's plenty of other things that you can think of but this is one that i've just sort of 
gone for. I did get inspiration for this from Minimal. I played a few games with him. I had a little look at the kind of build order he was going and it is quite similar to this. And I really like it because Italy don't have villager shipments. They don't have vills in their deck. So one way to combat that is, you know what? I'm just going to go for Feria. I'm going to go for Spice Trade. I'm going to essentially replace those vills that we don't have with very, very strong eco shipments. And that is exactly what it is. And we use that food to invest into the Lombards, which will then give us wood and gold as a trickle. And it really helps our macro and our planning of what we need to do throughout the game. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments below, of course, what you think of this opening. Is there anything that I did wrong? I mean, I'm sure there probably is. Is there anything that you disagree with? Maybe there's a better opening. But this, I think, is a really good opening if you don't have tps or if it's not a very nice tp map like this where you can't really upgrade the tp line very well i think this kind of opening is really really nice if you can just you know refine it you know work on it a little bit more i need to work on it a little bit more but i think this is a great start so hope you guys really enjoyed this let me know what you think down in the comments below of course and i'll catch you in the next video or the next stream catch you later guys Bye.